ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. You ought to be ashamed Stay of yourself. Drunk all oh the come night. on now, you all don't feel like that. Bam! Hey kids, I am back. Look at that shit. Coffee. Ha <laughs> uh, You know, drink rum in the evening and uh, drink your coffee out of a laser mug. I can't see it. But anyway, um, a good friend of mine who I made on the channel and uh, love the guy dearly. We talk like almost every day. Uh, him and his boy are getting into quads and uh, he only lives two hours south of me. So we're going to hook up and do lunch pretty soon here because I go down there all the time for work. And uh, his name's Elliot. And you might see him on my channel here and there. He's, uh, I'm trying to remember his fucking name. I get confused because everybody's got their, you know, my name's Jason, but I go by JJ Roto Geek, and his is like the real Chet something or other. But anyway, I know him by his real name, which is what you should do anyhow. Anyway, he, long story, I'm not going to get into the whole thing, but he had the good graces to send me a couple boards that he didn't want to use. And uh, so I'm going to use them as a test bed for the channel. Now, it just so happens, one of my Hellbenders that I slammed, you guys saw me do this with uh, this one and the Dark Knight here, uh, absolutely cool. This is the only bird I have that's not a drone that is still running an Omnibus F3 and it has a 4-in-1 ESC. Well, it just so happens, uh, my his uh, <laughs> intuition was good because I actually blew this ESC right here, number four on this, this particular four and one. So what we're gonna do, he sent me, check this shit out. Where's the fucking wrapper? Ah, crap. There we go. He sent me an Omnibus F7. Check that shit out, kids. 32 kilohertz gyro, bam, it's got two processors in it. And one of them is mounted, what we call in my industry, ISO mount. You hear me use that term a lot. That's for anti-vibration. If you remember the Kakute F4 all-in-one, that one has one floating on a piece of foam, but this looks even better. It's um, encased in acrylic, still got the same band, but the soldering's easier. The Kakute F4, you have to solder your VTX underneath here, it's real cunt. And if you, uh, if you slip or you're shaky, you haven't drank enough yet, you'll fry that ribbon. That's not good. Uh, but anyway, it's encased in acrylic, but it is floating in there. So, bam! 32 kilohertz F7 processor. Oh, so excited. It's got OSD and all that crap. Like a typical... Uh, and this has a built-in barometer. So, for you drone nuts, and like I said, we're going to have some drone stuff coming up on the channel here. Um, you can use this in a drone as well. So I am stupid pumped about that. It also has a place for a micro SD card. It's got the OSD. It's got all that crap. Um, really psyched to try this. So because I've never run an F7. So it's going to be interesting. The other thing he sent me, bam, check a whole lot of that shit out. I've been getting away from the all-in-one ESCs on the big birds. Uh, my micros absolutely use them all the time, but the big ones, eh, I've kind of gone back to the bullet style just because they're so cheap and easy. Uh, but um, this is a Typhoon um, D-Shot 1200, okay, or a 32-bit ESC, uh, and it's a 35 amp. So he sent me this too, and they have an interconnector. Uh, where the fuck is it? See, this is why God made rum for me, because I can't think in the mornings. Ah, anyway, there's a... I just chucked it somewhere. Anyway, it's around here. So there it is. See, kids? <laughs> All right. So we're just going to connect here to that dude. And then this dude is going to plug into here. Easy wiring. Bada bang. So we're going to upgrade this. Now, this isn't a... Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it. I mean, it's, it's put, putting in an ESC and a fucking flight controller. It's not hard. But... Well, the reason I'm doing this and making a video on it is because I've had a lot of people ask me about D-Shot 1200. And I personally, I've never run it. I'm making an assumption. But I personally don't believe that there is any benefit to it. Because I don't think the mechanical response of the motors is going to really make it that valuable. Um, but, eh, whatever. I don't think I'm a good enough pilot to see a difference with this. But that's okay, because now I am going to set this up with D-Shot 12. You have to use a special BL Heli Suite, and I'm going to make a follow-up video when this thing's done. 
Uh, because I have a lot of you guys asking me about this, and I think I've told a few of you, fuck it, just put it on D-Shot 600 and run it. You won't know the difference anyway. I think. Um, we're going to make a cute little stack here and hook all this shit up. The one thing I don't love about this is if you look, it's got motor one. There it is. Motor one, motor two, motor three, motor four. So it's got the batteries out the side. Eh, I'm going to do it this way because I want my lead coming out the back. But other than that, so I might have to do a little funkiness here. No big deal. Uh, but this way, when you guys call me up or whatever and say, hey, what about D12, 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 or if I'm running an F7, 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 now I'll actually be able to answer you from an educated standpoint. So I'm going to slap this thing in. Give me 30 seconds. Be right back. Bam, we're back. Well, you know, that wasn't too bad. That was pretty easy. Um, I'm really not sure why people are freaking out about um, the setup, but it was very easy. I downloaded BL Heli Suite 32. You cannot use the Chrome app for the 32 BL Heli. You have, you know, for uh, D Shot 1200, you have to download the special uh, BL Heli Suite off GitHub, so that was easy enough. Boom, boom, bang. All I did on there, the software was already up to date, so I just reversed my motors the way I needed to, um, kicked up my beeper tone a little bit on those, and I did reverse them so they're going in the opposite directions so I don't get camera splatter. Um, I did have to rotate the ESC so my pigtail battery leads were out the back. That's no big deal, but because of that, I had to remap the motors and beta flight. That was easy. That's done. And also, this board orientation, this USB, is supposed to be off to this side. But I wanted my OSD and camera hookups right here to be facing forward to make it clean. Look at how clean that shit is. Stuff my little receiver in between the boards. Uh, antenna obviously and I'm gonna stick the camera in here and uh, let's see how she stacks up should be pretty sweet I did ice amount this board because I already had ice amounts on there uh, little yeah what the hell a little extra can't hurt so let me uh, pop the VTX and the camera and the top back on Just button this thing up let's see what she does be right back BAM check it out I'm also using this for a test bed for my turbocharger far view antenna experiment so we'll see how that goes um turned out really nice i did have to lower the stack a little bit because that gyro block is a little high but other than that not too bad um that is a badass hellbender son it's really windy and shitty out so i can't get a test flight in for you guys but um hopefully tomorrow if it clears up a little bit we'll get some throttles in on this thing and, and see what she can do so until then kids bam Stay tuned. Later.